everybody, I am Cinnamon Cooney, your archer, and today I'm going to show you how you're going to paint this gorgeous, big, beautiful pansy face step-by-step -step in acrylic. It's actually very friendly for beginners and new painters. Everything is going to be broken down and explain the techniques, the tools, the color mixes, all about how you do it. I've got traceables, step-by-step -step written out mini books that match the steps in this video. Things are time stamped. You can watch from wherever you watch your streaming videos because we're everywhere now. Um, also check the description below if you want to find things on the website. This is part of a daily painting challenge called Acrylic April, but it's really just 30 paintings about flowers. So you can do it in any time frame that you want. Maybe you came for just this one painting. Be sure and hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. You are going to love the free resources, the beginner friendly vibe that we have, and the amazing art community that you're going to be seeing in the live chat today if you're here for the live chat. Nothing else to do but get your paint, get your brushes, materials in the description below. Come back and meet me at the easel right now. Today's video is on an eight by eight surface. I have the wish and I, and, and this one really came to me uh, just reading comments and everything is that you should see yourself through your best friend's eyes. Ooh, that's a good one. And that a good one. So I hope that for you, eight by eight canvas, just so you know where it is on the paint palette, docks, purple, burnt sienna, phthalo green is here. Cad yellow medium is here. Cad red medium is here. Quinacridone magenta is here. Ultramarine blue is here and titanium white is here. I'm going to be using a number eight Simply Simmons Filbert. And guess what? If you're doing the traceable, this is when you'd be doing that on this video. I'm going to take a little bit of my white and blue, my ultramarine blue. And just get it a little, a little bit. And we're going to sort of sketch in our flower some. So let's come in and say this is maybe the center of the flower right here in the center of the canvas. I'm going to bring down. A little bit of the petal and the reason that we're doing this early is that um, I want to really have bright saturated colors on my pansy so this is a good time to do that so we can do a really fun um, background and not worry about keeping the flowers colors vibrant the dogs are fighting under my feet just saying <laughs> Now I know up here, almost to the top, I'm definitely going to want my petal to come here and around. And then that will let me swoop up. Swoop. And I just swoop up my little side round petals. Look at that. Just a big, gorgeous close up. I'm going to remind myself that here is this sort of little opening of that pansy it'll be important later now i don't have to worry about painting um the whole background uh, and then painting this all white because i've done the sketching now isn't that cool yeah just kind of make sure this is the <laughs> she's got her ball bell. i, I hear the <laughs> short cake has her ball bell put up the short cake emojis now <laughs> If you're an emoji club, this would be the time to go. Shortcake Twix. All right, when we come back, I'm going to show you what you're going to do next. The ground is going to be a little bit out of focus. I'm going to grab my titanium white and, interestingly enough, my phthalo green. And you'll see that it kind of goes really distinctly mint. And then I'll add just a little yellow to it. And I'm going to come in and like I did with the peonies, if you're doing the 30 day painting program, we're going to be making kind of a loose background. I might get a little of my ultramarine blue into it. A lot of white here. Another thing I can do is come in and get just a smidge of purple in there. See that? But very light. And the reason we're doing a smidge of purple is there's other pansies. Other pansies are happening. There will be more. There will be more pansies as we go. I'm putting my light colors out first. I want kind of, you know, some drama between the background. 
in the pansy and it's okay to come into the flower a little bit right because you can always loose paint the petals back over it that's a nice lemony yellow green and then a little white to it look at that go a little blue and white into there now I may come back and do a dark layer, but I just wanted to get these light colors in. And then maybe come back with the purples. Yeah. Mm hmm And the deep greens so that we don't uh, gray out the colors. I want to keep everything bright in relationship to each other. Notice that I'm painting in kind of different directions. Let's grab a little purple here and put some muted purple into the background. Yeah, that's very muted. Yeah. The green and yellow really grayed out and muted out. And you want some of that. You want some of it. That's my three-quarter inch angle brush. This is the catalyst. I'm kind of like these are okay. I there are right angle brushes, but even today I was talking to John about how do we reshape brushes? So yeah. <laughs> still working on that. Dry this and we'll come back and do the next back. Depth and color through here. I'm going to continue to use the three quarter inch angle. I will take my phthalo green and my burnt sienna, kind of deepen that green. I'm going to come and add some of that depth, a little more brown, I think, into the base here, kind of implying deep shadows in the leaves. I'm making the spaces sort of irregular so that it looks like out of focus leaves in the distance. I may put a little up here in the upper right corner. Now I'm going to get my yellow and even a little more yellow and perhaps a little brown. Just keeping this very irregular. I can come back with smattering of the light colors too. You can see the layers just build on each other. They do. Layer, layer, layer. Layer, layer, layer. Creating that nice deep background. It's kind of fun. It's going to really help our flower to pop. I'm going to get a little of my purple over here. And then some white. And I want it to be pretty light. Might even get a little ultramarine blue into that. Because, you know, pansies. If I feel like I have too much pigment, and the thing about Doc's purple is that it's very pigmented. Mm. It's a powerful color and it tends to overpower any color it's near. Find a little bit of purple here and there. That's fun. All right. Our background's a little abstracted. That's the direction that we want to go. Kind of fun to pull these little colors out of there, isn't it? Yeah. You can see I'll just pull it across. And I've got a mix of, you know, like we talked about earlier, the phthalo green and the cad yellow and a little burnt sienna, a bit of the docks, purple, and ultramarine blue and titanium white, but also on the canvas where areas are wet, they're mixing again. So there's two kinds of ways that we're mixing paint. We're mixing paint on the palette and we're mixing paint on the canvas. We can come back, we get to start painting the flower. I'm so excited to show you that. It's
They do the next step. John always asks me that before a new step. So I want to ask you, are you ready? Raise your hand if you are. <laughs> no, we're just kidding. All right, let's get a little white onto our brush. This is a Filbert number no. eight, Simply Simmons. And I'm going to come up to the back pedal. I'm doing the back pedal first, then the two sides, then the front. I'm going to brush up a layer of wet white paint as one does. And then I'm going to come in and get a little smidge of yellow. And while the paint is wet, brush that yellow into it and add a little bit of extra. See how we're just creating a little streaking? Yeah. My pressure to get this effect is so light. It's like I'm, I'm kissing the canvas. It's just a kiss. It's just a little visiting kiss. I'm going to get a little of my white, some Doc's purple, which we've already determined is quite a powerful color, and a little ultramarine blue to kind of get it into that pansy purple. And this will be a very light purple. I'm going to get my brush wet enough for it to flow and I'm gonna come up to the top and blend downward. Oh. The edge of my brush is kind of going to make these little petaling frills. This is a very light color. I'm gonna curve my brush stroke a bit and soften it. Come on a little more hard on the white here at the edge. So see I'm getting quite a lot of white. Yeah. Paint is blending in. That is really just making a nice petal effect. Gonna rinse out some. Now there's sort of a yellow green happening here. You can see it. I wanna lean into that some too. And brush that on the edges, kind of curling up. Just a little kiss of that. I'm going to get a little of my purple and my magenta. I know. Such an interesting and contrasting. And here, I'm going to brush in and I'm just letting the brush make. See how the filaments are kind of opening up? When my brush is not loaded heavily with paint and when my brush has a stiff filament, right, and it's not loaded heavily with water, it can do something called dry brushing. I'm using white just to come here and blend an edge. And that can create that sort of veining effect that looks so petal-like. Yeah. Maybe a little darker right here. Now I can come on the edge and even and play with that. I'm going to take a damp brush. It's clean. And before the paint is dry, I'll come here and even blend. A little bit of the bright yellow in the center. Look at us go. Aren't we just doing awesome? That's looking pretty good. Come back on the back edge. Again with a little bit of white. You, if you haven't painted pansies before, like the Bird of Paradise, probably an easier, more fun flower than you might think. <laughs> Look at us go. What a gorgeous pansy center, isn't it? It really is. It is. All right, there's a last touch on this, but 
Maybe I'll do those last little touches at the end so we can kind of pull them into their own step. So when we come back, let's work on our layer objects in a painting by their distance from me, the viewer, the painter. And I'm going to continue on with my filbert. Really quick, I'm going to take some just yellow with a smidge, gosh, just a smidge of the cad red, right? And get kind of a yellow orange. Still quite bright. I'm going to begin here. And I'm going to add that little pop. A little pop. Yeah. It's an important pop. Ooh. I'm going to also come here. I can see ahead. I want to paint out my blue that I sketched. So I'm going to use a little white and yellow just for later. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is just a for later moment if you've sketched in that opening of the flower. I did that for myself to help me, but I'm like, oh, man, yellow is not going to really cover that. I'm going to need to use some white. So that's why I did that there. But I want this just to be what it is. I'm going to take a little of my dox purple and my quin magenta again they kind of work nicely together don't they yeah and you come in on the edge of this i want to actually have this sort of really curling round so the petal will come like this. So I'm coming on the edge and curling that in. Yeah. That's important over here on the left side. On the left petal that's in that mid range, curling it in. Rolling that in. And pulling it back out. Just the beginning of that. Yeah. Linacrido magenta docks purple. Same, same. On the right side now. And the big thing I'm trying to do is just make sure that my petals are sort of rounded. Yeah. Coming off. I am brushing my brush stroke in the direction that the petal would grow. That is helpful. It truly is. I come right here. It's going to rinse out. And when we come back, we're going to do the next step on this petal, but we need it to be dry. So let's dry it and come back. Some light in here. First, I'm going to go with a little of my white. And I'm going to come on the edge here. I'm letting the brush have uh, its filaments kind of come apart. I'm brushing up. And then I may come back and brush down a little bit. Do the same on this other side. So 
Let that have a little bit of a dry, rebuilding its its little moment. Take my purple over to my ultramarine blue. Let's get some weight into that. It has a very different look. So I'm going to come here on the edge. Very loosely brush over some of that sort of purpley blue that we have. Yeah. Not everywhere. And it's not stripes. It's definitely, definitely more, you know, uh, streaking in that outer petal. I'm rinsing out. Now, I'm going to be changing water often during this painting, and it's because... We're using a lot of yellow and purple, which are contrasting colors. They're going to want a gray. Doxing purple is so pigmented that it will dull up your water. And if you want your colors to stay vibrant, that is a big thing that you can do to improve that. I'm going to come over here to my dox again and my magenta. I'm going to get a little white into it, but definitely in that dark range. And I'm going to come here and make sure that this kind of arcs into a point. I'm going to come here and back with the magenta, maybe a little white this time, kind of blending in to the periwinkle we just made. Mm. So we're creating a lot of color. See, we like pansies because pansies are colorful. They really are. And their faces, this is sort of like a flower portrait. I mean, they're like faces, aren't they? They have so much going on. You can see the face in them. And that's really wonderful. Now, I want to get a little more yellow. Kind of take this moment to kind of blend that in. And I'm going to get a little white and yellow together. So it's still white, but it's just got a little bit of a yellow cast. And at first I'll come through and sort of edge because I want this far side to be irregular. And then I'll do the uh, part where I kind of flick it out. Notice that I'm curving the direction of the cool of the brush, of the petal. As Definitely a trick to that. Yep. Making sure that it's edging in. Now, it's not the last and final word on that, but that's looking pretty good so far, right? It's looking phenomenal. It's fun. It's just a fun thing to do. We can kind of dry everything, come back, and we will paint. Flash coming out here, and then this white little patterning will happen again. And again, the periwinkle and the kind of burgundy will be going on. I'm going to start with a little of my green and yellow. I'm going to come here and just right into here and kind of dust out a little bit of that. All right? We're going to have these little white kind of comma plant parts and then a bit of a of a little kind of pollinating something, stamen, I don't know. I should have really paid more attention to that <laughs> school. You even went through class for this. I, I know. And I read a book about it. You did. And I remember it's, you drew pictures. And it's you just a whole problem. Study. I, I mean, I like, I remember no. this stuff. 
I know. You do. Apparently, I don't. <laughs> but I'm going to come through here, and uh, next flower thing, I'm going to like be like up on it. I'm going to a little more yellow. I'm going to bring this out a bit. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get my white and yellow going. Because it's kind of a little more directional on this. Yeah. And it kind of tapers here and is not as prominent on the center. So strong on the outside, not as prominent on the on the center. Just a yellow white coming through here. And I think you can barely see it, but you can kind of see it happening. It's looking pretty good. We're having a moment. Rinse out. Get it clean, clean, clean because now you're going to switch to a burgundy purple. come here and actually kind of in a little V so I will come on the edge again number eight Filbert still here and we may have to put little kisses of the white through here but remember we talked about it was almost gone on the left side, kind of brushing back. Really, this is going to be a pansy so fast. Let's paint more of these. Let's paint mm. them giant. It's so good. Come in with a little darker purple, if you'll notice right here. And the fun thing about pansies, and you know how I love to white line flowers? They're naturally white lined. So we even still get to do that, which is like the best. A little dark purple right here. A little burgundy here. Into my purple. Get some white into it. You can kind of see it as it is. Would be on the edge here, and then I'll come back on the flat. That worked, didn't it? Yeah, little pansy face. This is going to be awesome seeing this on Facebook. All the little pansies. Oh my gosh. Facebook's going to be like, what's up with fa Why are all the moms paint pansies? Because <laughs> they're fun. Yeah. Pansies in the kitchen are like some of my favorite. I love pansies in the kitchen. I come here and just get a little bit of my orange. Rinse out really good. And I'm going to come back with a little bit of my yellow again. So let it kind of blend in to what's happening here. Not taking out all of it. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to switch the direction of the brush. The handle is going to be back. Kind of adding that little bit there. Now, dry all this. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what you're going to do next to make it even more. Here, there's a yeah. lot to think about. 
I'm going to get my number four round from Simply Simmons. Get it a little bit wet. I'm going to go ahead and grab my white. Make a little bit of a comma here. And a little bit of a comma there. A little of my green and yellow with some white and you can get into a little green and a curve in. Just talking about the centers, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like a little burgundy and yellow. Kind of edging on either side of that, right? Give it that pop of color. Yeah. Just a little pop. And then a little yellow there. While we're here, I'm going to take the number four round and kind of brush out a little yellow. And brush out a little of my bright yellow. See, what we have now is just a little more control. Yeah. pretty good we like that but now we've got the control we don't want to like just give that up we want to keep playing with that control get a little of my white and yellow together my number four round Make the unevenness that sort of makes that pansy patterns. Yeah. That's terrific. Really is. I'm going to get a little of my purple and blue again and some white. Just make sure that I've got a little of that at this tip here. Maybe a little over here at the side. See, we're just adding those little yep. elements. And then back into the burgundy. A little spot there. See, I put a little spot of color there. Yeah. Because flowers will do that sometimes. If flowers will do it, we should definitely do it. If a flower makes a spot of color, will you make a spot of color? Yes, you will. Because this is not the bridge your mother was talking about. So you should huh. definitely follow the flower. <laughs> Make sure that that kind of blends back in. That's looking pretty good. So we're using, we're taking advantage of our. Our detail. I'm going to grab a little white and yellow. Mm, just looking so good. Yeah, it really is. Just a few. And look, we're not making stripes. Don't make stripes. You want to. You don't want to take away the. The nice firm work that you did that would not be the point at all no no okay this is a step dry everything and i'm going to show you some finishing moves that you're going to love 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 love
take a liner. This is the catalyst liner. And I'm going to get into my purple and burgundy at first. Make a nice deep color. And I'm going to very carefully from here curve out a little veining. Right through there. It goes right up into the white. You know how that's dark and it we can see it and it's just yeah. maybe even more in the purple. It just goes right through the yellow. Get my brush wet, make sure my flow is good. Let's come here. And also do a dark purple, just dox purple here. Look at that. Pansy come alive. Pansies are a very fun flower. You can paint them kind of loose in little groupings, right? Because you just capture the purple, the purple, the yellow centers, and the light tops. That's a nice loose way to get them if you're doing them in large amounts but focusing on them and painting their like i'd love to do some like big canvas with like big pansies all filling up the thing that'd be amazing so much fun these lines still come out with the curve of the flower so you can't just take the curve of the flower away that's still happening. Love that. I do. I'm going to do it over here. Little long lines. These are like veins. Not quite as bright so I'll go ahead and you know add a little white and get into my burgundy because these ones over here are a little fainter fine little lines aren't they one of my favorite flowers to paint because it's so pretty it's actually real friendly the way the petals are like irises can be a little twisted on you that a pansy's just like here's my face it's so pretty want to paint it and i'll be like yeah i want to paint it you know you love it all right we're gonna get our fluid paint and come back and finish the flower because pansies are naturally All that was great. I'm gonna get my fluid acrylic. This is my Golden Artist Colors fluid acrylic. It just means that the paint isn't heavy bodied and it runs a little easier. So if you're trying to make a line, it'll do that nicer and it's really pigmented. Could you thin your white paint with water? Yes, you can. I'm going to go ahead and load up this and come up to the top of my lightest petal. Now it won't show as much here as it will on the bottoms, but it will still show. And it will still make a difference to how the petal looks. I'm here and kind of come up the edge. because it's literally outlined on the edge. Pansy naturally white line. Best flower, best, best, best. I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of take advantage of the time here and
Make sure that that's a little more defined. Here we go. How pretty is this? One of the nice things about living in California is pansies grow really well there. So you yeah. see them in like, even in the plantings along roadsides. It was amazing. Their little faces would just be looking at you all colorful and cute. And see how the white lining actually makes it look even more pansy than it did before. And it was so pansy it's, before. I know. It's so cool. Try to keep your line a little wiggly. You, you know, definitely trace over and stuff, but they have kind of a frilly edge. So that's important to think about. Very frilly. Very frilly. Sometimes I will kind of come into the pansy part right here just because it's so down done. Yeah. That's a nice little blend on that. Making sure the coverage is there because again, it's it's a very white edge that they have like they're dressed up. Mm. All right, look at that. It looks so pretty. Isn't that really pretty? I'm gonna go ahead and take my titanium white paint and get it into my purple kind of range of colors here. Something light that will show up but go with the whole other painting. Give that a signature. Now, when I come back, I will show you what you're going to be doing. So, we've done it. We've painted a very up close macro painting of a pansy flower. Uh, I hope this inspires you to paint a lot more because these flowers are just really fun. We're going to paint more on the channel, I think. I declare that now. Yes. More will be happening. Uh, I definitely want to see yours, so be sure to share that in the Acrylic April group and online with the hashtag Archer. But wherever you are on your social media, I am, so just tag it in to me. I would love to see your painting. We only have a few more paintings if you're doing the 30-day challenge, um, which you don't have to do in 30 days. You can take any amount of time you want. If you're doing the 30 paintings, um, we only have a few more of those left, so we're really on the downhill slope. Like, it's almost time uh yeah. tomorrow we're going to be doing something really fun kind of similar built on this so i think you're going to like it a lot john mm. thank you for your time today oh thank you for painting you guys at home thank you for your time today remember to talk to yourself and see yourself through your best friend's eyes and voice i think that uh we could all do that a little bit better couldn't we see ourselves like we're our best friend I want you to be good to yourselves, good to each other. Definitely like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I want to see you and these over really soon. Bye-bye.